The universe is full of surprises. One of the latest is so-called Odd Radio Circles, or ORCs. Only four of them have been discovered to date, the first of them in late 2019 by Anna Kapinska using an array of radio telescopes in Australia known as the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder. From the name, you can guess that ORCs are round, they give off radio waves, and they haven't yet been properly explained. They don't show up at all in ordinary light or other types of waves like infrared or X-rays. They only shine in radio waves, and they're particularly bright around their circular edges. So what might they be? Superficially, they look a bit like supernovae or some planetary nebulae, both of which are caused by stars blowing off material into space. But ORCs are neither of these. For one thing, they're enormous, and they lie at great distances far outside our own galaxy. We know this because two of them have been found to have galaxies inside them, and the distance to these galaxies is known to be about a billion light years. This means that ORCs must be immense, around a million light years across. It also suggests that they're associated with the galaxies. One suggestion is that they might be shock waves caused by particles, possibly electrons, fired out by the central galaxy. But at this stage, we simply don't know how something so large could be formed in this way. Another strange fact is that of the four confirmed ORCs, two of them lie side by side. They're obviously connected, but how and why? It's taken this long to discover ORCs because it's only recently that the instruments needed to detect them have come on stream. These are arrays of radio telescopes that are both very sensitive so they can detect faint signals and can survey quickly large areas of the sky. Anytime something new is found it's exciting because it stretches our understanding of the universe. The unexpected the unexplained is the lifeblood of science. Researchers love a good mystery, and that's exactly what odd radio circles are.